Well, this is the update after about an hour and a half of looking around at stuff. And I found some stuff wrong. And I'm going to show you what it's supposed to look like on the right side that's not hurt. This is the crumple zone right here. And you see how it has those uh, ridges in it? And uh, those are there so that when you get in a crash, it's designed to crumple. And there's a spot weld here that holds this crumple zone onto the body of the car. So if you need to replace it, you just grind out these spot welds. Spot welds, there's two here, there's two on the other side, and then four bolts in the front, you take that out. And this would basically slide out of the frame and you'd put a new piece in, okay? Well, let's come around to the other side. And looking at this, I have already disconnected it from the bumper and you can see that it is pushed back pretty far. The well, the uh, ribs did their job and they took the hit. They dissipated the en energy so nobody got hurt. Uh, the problem is I have to cut those spot welds out and uh, replace this crumple zone. So uh, once that is replaced, um, the other thing that did was previously my radiator hose down there was pushed back in. You can't see it because it's too dark here. But if I had a light on, you'd be able to see it. But when this whole assembly got pushed back, see how it moves there? But uh, it got pushed back, the radiator hose got pushed into the crank pulley and it cut the hose. So um, now that I had the gap back, I could replace that hose and uh, refill the radiator. I don't think the radiator's hurt. I did think it was at first. The radiator surround is a plastic part. It's not even hurt. And uh, once I replace that crumple zone, which could be involved because I've never done it, um, I do work at a car dealership temporarily for a few more months here. They might be able to help me out with that. But um, if that's the case, I could have this thing put back together in about an hour and a half and uh, back on the road. So uh, a little, just so you know, this little piece right here and a blown out radiator hose totaled this vehicle. I think that's a little bit ridiculous, but they panic and uh, I don't know. It's a shame that they total good cars so easily. But in this case, I got, uh, uh, I'll tell you what, Auto Owners Insurance did right by us. That's who we have. And they, they truly did right by us. So I have to give them some credit for that. Uh, there's a guy named Lauren that worked with us and he was very good. He didn't try to lowball me. He gave me what the car's worth, and I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm also happy that I was able to buy it back for the price I did because it makes doing things like this worthwhile, and uh, it's not that hard to fix. This will be very simple. The fender here, I got the gap back already just by uh, unbolting some stuff. This right here has been laid over a little bit so the fenders flared out farther than it needs to be but um, once I get this all back in line I don't think it'll be too hard if I just bring this this uh, crease back the way it was this is supposed to be vertical you can see it's not vertical um, on this side it is vertical so you can see the difference that line is straight down on this side, it's not straight down. So I need to just bend this back over. And um, if I get real technical, there's a buckle right here that I could probably push out if I take the fender off the car. But uh, that's all it is. I'm actually pretty happy about that. It looks bad, but this will be back on the road very soon.